that? I called it! What did you call? The villain for the finale! <laughs> uh... <sighs> Fine, let's look at an earlier episode and then the finale together. YouTube, this is Melantart, and joining me for my first MLP collab is Raziel the Reviewing Rabbit. Hey everyone, how you doing? Well, since the finale recently aired and someone seems to be behind, let's look back a bit and look at an earlier episode called Marks for Effort. So, this episode begins with the CMC wanting to get into Twilight's Friendship School. You know, with all the lessons being presented, I can see why they would want to attend. Oh yeah, I already have a spot for when Fiend and I eventually have kids. How did that happen? Twilight owed me a favor after breaking one of my game consoles while teleporting back during Twilight's Kingdom. Uh. Moving on! Twilight seems to handle the CMC wanting to attend very well, but Best Pony is feeling underappreciated. Hi, Twilight! Looks like you could use a guidance counselor's help. Hint, hint. No thanks, Starlight. I got this. Great. Well, I'll just go dust my office for the 70th time. I know that feeling. When you're given a job or task that you think can help, but everyone acts like they don't need you. Seriously, Twilight, didn't you feel the same way during your first winter wrap-up? But anyway, after many failed attempts to get enrolled, the girls see a crying pony outside their treehouse and... <sighs> You have some thoughts, Melon? Okay, I knew something was wrong with Cozy Glow from the start. I've seen Castor dance too many times to not recognize a QT manipulator. I don't get it, though. She seems really cute and innocent to me. Exactly! Raziel, I got something to show you. Two hours later. See? But, but how did, did he see? Oh, crap, I think I broke him. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> Feel better. The CMC help out Cozy, doing tasks around the city of Ponyville. We go through a montage of them helping out many different pony folk, many of whom we haven't seen in a while. The last thing they cover is the elements of harmony and... I see it now. Not gonna lie! At the start I thought Cozy was gonna get the CMC to do all the work for her and then she would take the credit, ultimately learning the value of doing things herself. Thanks Celestia they didn't go that route. Yeah, that would have been way too easy. However, Cozy Glow ends up failing her test somehow. Oh, just wait! What really gets me is that she gets the girls in trouble. Thankfully, she goes to Best Pony and... I see. <laughs> oh my god! That was the best face Starlight has ever made! <laughs> okay, 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 I'm sorry. Let's continue. We find that Cozy failed her test on purpose to try and get the girls into school. This is all my fault. I messed up my test on purpose so we could all go to school together. I'm sorry. Oh, this is adorable. <laughs> Thankfully, Cozy and Starlight explain everything to Twilight, and the trio do get a role at the school as tutors. And that was Mark's for Effort. It was an interesting episode of not setting up an obvious villain. What did you think, Raziel? I definitely enjoyed it. There was a couple things that bothered me, though. Like, what the heck, Twilight? I know you're busy doing principal stuff, but at least consider your friend's depleting mood. Cozy Glow's really cool, too. She seemed really helpful to others in this and many episodes after. Well, what does this have to do with the finale? Oh, you'll find out right now on the school raise. So this episode begins with the obvious villain getting mail from Derpy and showing just how nice and sweet she is. Ugh! Well, it turns out that Twilight is late to take the students on a field trip, so instead, Starlight and Rainbow took them. 
Starlight comes up with this really cool spell to allow them all to stay in the clouds when suddenly... Well, that escalated quickly. Thankfully, all the creatures again fly and manage to save those who can't. Seas magic is failing all across Equestria. Hmm, why does that sound familiar? Yeah, it could be him. The main six try to think about what could cause this. Magic can't just disappear. Something has to be causing this. Um, didn't we learn in class about a creature that eats magic? Ter... T... Ter... something? <gasps> T-Rex! You know, for someone who I thought was really smart earlier, I wouldn't think that she would forget an important figure like that. After finding out it's happening everywhere, the main six get ready to talk to Tyrek and Tartarus. But Twilight has asked me to stay here to run the school. Oh, I thought that after what happened last time... <laughs> That's right, break that little evil's heart! But Cozy Glow still takes charge of the school when Twilight leaves, holding a note that Starlight left her, leaving her in command. Considering long-term communications are down, it's all very suspicious. The student six didn't think so too. Weird, isn't it? Well, I don't know what you mean. Like, why'd she change her mind? Why did Starlight write a note instead of say goodbye to us herself? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, <laughs> oh Smolder, you forget. We're not scheming dragons. We're ponies. Sounds like some creature needs to do a little extra friendship homework. <laughs> okay, you're officially on the list of people I will never hang out with. Can I just take a minute to talk about what I do like about Cozy Glow? Yeah, go ahead. She is a master manipulator. We saw this in both the previous episode we looked at and the episode What Lies Beneath. She's like Nikolai Carpathia. And who would that be? <sighs> I can't go into details without bringing up religion, but basically he is the spawn of Satan. What I like is that he looks like a normal guy, and you would never know he was evil. So when he does something evil, like, say, shoot a guy point blank in the United Nations, you would never see it coming, and it makes him even scarier. Thankfully, no film has failed using a story with this concept. Oh, I'm yours! Many of the students seem to like Cozy's way of doing things, and just to seem things are going perfect for her. Then we get the return of Racist McGee! Where is Princess Twilight? Oh golly, she's away on a quest. I'm watching the school for her. And of course, he decides to take over the school and lock up the other students with Sambar, who is turning on his friends? You were right about them from the beginning, Chancellor. I see that now. What are you saying? I don't want anything to do with creatures that could threaten Equestria. Wisely put, Colt. Every pony will come to their senses. Oh, you mother- Okay, chill, Raziel. It was a ploy so we could go get help, and it's here where the main six see T-Rex and the truth is revealed. Sandbar and the CMC soon find Starlight trapped in a magic ball with Cozy seemingly taunting her and complaining about Naysay getting in her way. Well, that's different. I mean, T-Rex literally ate magic while Cozy is literally having it absorbed into a ball while imprisoning a unicorn who is best pony and having all the magic in Equestria gathered up and banishing all of it at once. All of Equestria will bow to me, the future empress of friendship! <laughs> evil. See, Raziel, I called it and... Evil, cute, uh, evil. Raziel? Cute, evil, you evil, okay? Cute, cute, evil, Raziel? Evil, evil. Raziel! You okay, bud? Yeah, 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 I think I'll be fine. I think you need to go see Fluttershy and maybe the actual vet. Anyway, the next episode picks up with Sam bringing his friends and telling them everything, and they make a plan. The other students imprison Nacy, and while I would be happy for a racist to get his chest desserts, it doesn't help when someone of his own species is proving his point. The CMC then try to distract Cozy Glow, though they do make it a bit obvious. Do you three think you can fool me? I know a diversion when I see it. Regardless, with this time, the students free Nase. He seems to learn his lesson before leaving to get the princesses, using what little magic is left of his artifact. Also... What the main 
six ducks and Tartars without magic is up a student six to save the day while Cozy Glow continues to manipulate. And then... And with magic gone from Equestria, I'm not even sure the Tree of Harmony will be as helpful as it once was. Gallus gets the element of magic. Maybe it doesn't reflect actual magic, but the magic of learning and actual friendship inside. So, when I took that personality test and it said I was the element of magic, I guess I could be. Thankfully, while this is happening, the main six use the magic within the beings stuck in Tartarus to escape, and through a huge explosion, magic is soon returned to everyone in Equestria. Cozy Glow is found out, and when she tries to leave the... Oh. My God. The gods are actually useful! Commander Farmer is gonna be so happy! <laughs> Melon, focus. Right, right, sorry. So magic has returned since the student six have to have to stay at the school despite thinking they should graduate, and Cozy Glow is sent to Tartarus when she and T-Rex can get closer, and that was school rays. Sorry, Twilight Kingdom, I found a new favorite finale. Cozy Glow is easily a great villain, if not an obvious one. We got Naysay learning his lesson at long last, and a possible setup for the next premiere and or finale. Raziel, your thoughts? I'd say I thoroughly enjoyed it. The Student Six got a lot of time to shine here, as well as the main villain Cozy. The main six were put out of commission quite cleverly, I'd say, though I do wish they would use other means of escape rather than something out of the blue. The CM Seek, I suppose, could have had a better role, but there's only so much you can do with so many characters involved. The imprisoning of a child is a bit less for speculation, though if you were to ask me, being as smart as Cozy was, and the severity of the action, I suppose that was the only option. Well, that's the end of that. This is Melon Tart! And this is the Reviewing Rabbits, and... Yeah, I think I would like that visit with Fluttershy. <laughs> okay, let's go.